Hey buddies, welcome to Musk Games. My name is Simon. This is the top 15. It's actually the top 10, I know, but I'll add a bit more to it. For the Spiel Essen 2024 official hotness, the games that most people have thumbed up as must have or want to have. So first up we have 15th position here. We have Kraftwagen Age of Engineering. It's by Wolfgang, sorry, it's by Matthias Kramer, no relation, uh, and it's published by Arcane Wonders. And I have played the original game before. We can just head out of this and I'll just show you that like I say it's a re-implementation of the original. And uh, I think it was okay. I liked it. I like other games better by this particular designer, and I only gave it a six. But in at 14, I do have this. This is Windmill Valley by Danny Garcia. Uh, the designer of quite a few other games, a uh, nice up and coming hot designer in terms of really being on the pulse with what people want. Uh, the designer who also did Barcelona. So that's by Borden Dice. Next up we have Tea Garden. This is by Albi. Check my video for Karak and other games such as by them. But this is a, I think, a Czech company. And Tea Garden is the first designer by Thomas uh, Holleck. He also designed two other games. And uh, yeah, so this has been Tea Garden. 13 is Minos, Dawn of the Bronze Age. This is another game by Borden Dice, so that's a second entry on the list, by Stanislav um, Kowalowski. So this is, looks quite an interesting mode going on here. And then we next up is Tao Toshi. So very interesting kind of locations going on. In this case, pardon by Devia. Next up we have Black Forest, another location by Foyland. This is again by uh, Uwe Rosenberg. I sort of got hiccups again. And uh, Tito again, so this, these guys did Field of Arla, Tea and Trade. Check my video for that. Next up, we've got another version of Endeavor. This one, Deep Sea. This is by Grand Gamers Guild. I don't know quite why we do not have uh, um, logoing on it. Or maybe it's oh, down in the bottom there, hidden. But again, I have played the original. It's the first Euro I've ever played which for three and a half hours standing up. So I have uh, played it before. I simply haven't played it standing up, uh, a whole game standing up. And next up, we have Inferno. Well, this looks very, very different, uh, very bleak. Uh, I'm not sure I know anything about this game at the minute. But we can have a quick look and see what it's all about. So as you can see, I didn't have a geek message and suddenly I do. Um, yeah, we don't know much about this one. It's medieval, it's horror, it uh, is involves miniatures. There we go. Okay, next up is uh, we have got Unconscious Mind. Let me just delete that thing off and delete that off. So we don't keep going back to it. And we have got Unconscious Mind by Johnny Pack. So I've been messaging quite a lot. It looks a bit like Match in the picture. Uh, Fantasia published this as a Cypriot company. And yeah, looking forward to checking this one out in Hall 3. Next up, Soulfjord. This is a re-implementation by uh, Porter Games of uh, Santa Maria, which I think for colonial reasons they didn't want to do it anymore. Another game by Christian and Elif. And uh, yeah, so this is basically re-implementation. I didn't like the conquistadors and how strong they were though in the original. I don't think much else has changed, but hopefully there's a, a better implementation going on. And then we have our first expansion this list, and the only expansion I think this is De Vere again, the White Castle Matcher. We have Arcs, check my video for this. I think this is the fourth on the list, and this is uh, by Leader Games, check out my Leader stuff as well. And yeah, this is again Arcs, this is a trying to trick taking game with a bit of other things going in, air control in some respects. And then we've got Civil uh, Civilution by Seven Fell, they keep bringing stuff out, this time by Deep Print Games and by Pegasus Spieler. 14 plus is the age range recommendation, 90 to 180 minutes. Uh, wonderful players. And then Galileo Galilei, so again, this is by Thomas Hollick and uh, the artwork by Mitchell Pericci. So yeah, it looks very interesting. And yeah, Pink Troubadour, which another Czech company has published it, which you can find in Hall 4. And lastly, we have him again. How amazing is this? Uh, he's in number one and a number two. Another game, which is a kind of sci-fi game, which obviously Starship Captains did very well for uh, CG last year or two years ago. Check out my video for that. But this is Search for extra Extraterrestrial Intelligence. So yeah, it's amazing how he's got another game in this particular list. But thank you very much for watching. This has been, obviously, checking out that top 15 games to check out should be a lesson. But we'll do thumb, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment. And I look forward to speaking to you again about more about this list and how things get on over there. Uh, but yeah, let me know. There's also, a, obviously, an SM playlist. Check that out. That's going in there, too. And I'll try and figure out somewhere else that can go in. Check out the podcast. Check out Instagram for images, as well as discussion on Facebook. And lastly, heading over to, obviously, Patreon support the channel. But for now, uh, TikTok and X, etc. Back to the table.